seal is five grand just for the seal. It sucked to, to buy a coach, spend half a million dollars or whatever the number is, and then all of a sudden realize that your engine's blown up and you have to put another 50 or 100 grand into it to get your bus up to up to par. You were just telling me that you talked to someone that recently bought a coach and they had a $30,000 bill after buying the coach to zero it out and get it up to speed. What all goes into inspecting a coach? When someone brings you a coach that they want to buy and you're doing a buyer's inspection like this, what goes into it? Well, we just like to be transparent and kind of go through the coach entire, you know, the entire up and down and inside and the bays and as much as we can see, just so they actually know what they're spending their money on. You know? Definitely want to have a checklist that you can go over and know exactly how much money you're going to need to zero out that coach before buying it because there's a lot of stuff that goes into these coaches and depending on how well it was maintained before you, you'll have a good idea. So we're gonna show you the whole inspection that Kyle did. I'm gonna to try to get as much of the inspection on video as possible, but this inspection is just for entertainment purposes only. The potential buyer is gonna get a copy of the hard written inspection from Kyle. I'm gonna to try to get as much as possible on video here, but the real inspection is on that paperwork right there. We're gonna pick it apart, but I gotta let you guys know, if you think that there's any 10 year old coach that we can't pick apart, I challenge you to bring that coach to Kyle and I, because we're gonna find something. We'll find something, of course. Checking the VIN in the year and all that stuff. Yeah, they manufactured the actual chassis in 07. Mm -hmm. That would make sense. And then it probably sat around for a while. He's testing the door code right now. Door code works. Door code works. We dropped the aux air pretty fast, so we gotta see what's going on. Seat's all good. Yep. Air seat. When we go up with it, I'll see if we can find, uh, if we hear a visible leak. So the aux air isn't holding? No, it's not. Let's see if it holds with the key on. So he up. parked it two minutes ago and then we, we fired it up and it had already lost air? Yeah. Now what do you do to find a leak in one of these coaches? Start squirting her down. Soapy water. <laughs> That's it. That's it. And how many lines of airlines are in this coach? Oh. Football fields worth. Miles and miles, I would assume. See, look, watch. You can all, you can almost see it drop. Oh. So it's just it's already down to ninety, and you yeah. just had it going. But the seal is five grand just for the seal. We'll come back to that here. Let's go down the checklist. Small little chip, but that's all right. Yeah. Ooh. She's flying. <laughs> <laughs> Driver window works. Yeah, oh yeah. Like a charm. Like a charm. That one's flying. Logging. We're good there. Cool. Horns work. Yep. Both air and electric. <laughs> yep. Turn signal right. Yep. Other right. Yeah, other right is good. Yep. Good. Left and right are both good. Marker lights all the way around. All good. Minor paint checking in here. It hasn't split. Um, it, it, it's not fully checking, but it almost looks like it might be starting to check. It's very close. It hasn't checked yet, but it's like almost about to check. And that's, and that's just in this one area. I washed this whole coach and went over it really thoroughly. In this area, it's not, it's... Oh, one docking light right here. Yeah, um, 33,000. So, so this docking light's not off? Yeah. Yep, good. Left mirror, only top portion is working. Right chip side is good. Checking back and forth, we'll drop the front end here. Level seems to be all working, oh, yeah. operating fine. Yep. Light comes on. Drive mode, light goes off. Filled up with air. Check the tilt. Good. All the vents 
cracks are working. Small little cosmetic crack there, real small. So slide steel leak? Yeah, pretty bad leak up there. What causes that? Over here as well. I bet you the whole bladder's out. Yeah. Okay. What about the rear slide, do you know? Or? Doesn't appear to be. No, that one sounds okay. Little cracks in the basement bay here. Here. All of them. And this is common in older uh, older buses. If you saw a previous video I did with Dean Lauks, he was talking about how that's a common issue in you know 10 10 year old Prevos is those little cracks in the doors. So watch my video with Dean Lauks titled uh, "2.6 Million Dollar Prevo Liberty Coach Paint Job," where he talks a little bit about that. Kyle, what are we doing over here with the wheels, bud? Uh, I'm just checking the rims to make sure there's no cracks or dings or dents, and everything looks good. Just one little one on this one. I don't notice, but. Probably. One little kind of gouge in the wheel there. Yeah. Yeah, the wheels all look good. Yeah. Let's uh check these bay stabilizer arms. That one's a little... Looks like these springs on this basement bay. Do they hold or? Yeah, I mean if you push it, it'll hold, but it's supposed to hold it up on its own weight. But you know, you gotta remember 13 years old. <laughs> yeah. What bay is this? It looks like the water bay, right? Well, this is actually an auxiliary tank. So you've got auxiliary um, gray, black, fresh water up top. So you've got yeah, you got that tons of fresh there. water. Yeah, it's on yeah, the bay. Yeah, they all have them. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's right where oh, they're right there. It's, Probably like, too. it's like the light gets hot or got oh. hot and it just they do on every day door. That sucks. Yeah. Is this going to be your uh, inverters or? Yeah, that tank's not even mounted in there. Mm -hmm. so that tank is loose there. <laughs> Just hold it down by the way. We got to get it filled up. This bay here, like with this little, one little, is not. Little effort. So one of the bays the door the springs are good but these other ones they have to be pushed all the way back and it will still hold in place yeah, right here it just you have to push it all the way and hold it in place you've got a rollout tray here a ton of storage can i'm gonna open this just to show yeah, here, here, thanks. Thanks, yep Another huge basement bay there. Kyle's opening the other side. They got a couple bins over there. Chair holder. There's a couple screws. Yeah, chair holder. Huge storage. Yeah, that is nice. Like this this chair holder is all good. That's what's nice about the H's. You get a lot of base space. Four chairs too. I like that. There we go. Is that inverters too? No, they were on the other side. This is all your DC panel, probably your AC. Short cord in here. All your air solenoids on the back wall there for air doors and auxiliary air stuff. Whoa. Big boy generator here. Yeah, Did you test that generator yet? No, I have not. Well, he, it was running when he came in. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely working. Okay, cool. So that door, we'll go back in there here in a sec. I was just checking these big. And then I'll point out to small crack on this basement door as well. Yeah, they all need to come off. Good. Yeah. Important stuff here. Is that the sewer hose holder? I don't know. It is. Look at yeah, that. sewer hose holder. That's pretty dope. It's nice and uh, used. That's good. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. 13 for both fronts. 35, 15 for pretty much drives except for the outer on that side. That was a 37, 15. Doesn't matter. We're missing one. I'll need uh, 
Oh, and the tires of its 50s. Yeah. Okay. I won't fit. <laughs> Hey, will you grab me the regular flashlight though? Yep. Markers and pens everywhere. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. This looks good. Good. Oh, one probably needs one bracket here. Ah, uh, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> I had one A tonight. It's been a while. So going through each individual bearing, yeah, making sure they're sure all not, free spinning. Not gritty. Ripping the boost hose there. Yeah. Well, there's only thirty three thousand miles on it. It better be clean, right? Yeah. yeah. The high low came on, it might just need a little top of Freon, but it's blown cold, so yeah, it's I would assume it's good. Um, so that one's good. Uh, we didn't check the block heater because we couldn't find the switch, right? Yeah, I don't know. And then we just need to check the alt alternator output and then the equalizer. That's it. So now, uh, after inspecting that coach, what's your overall thoughts on that coach? Just kind of off the record, you made a, a detailed inspection report, which yeah. you will deliver to the potential buyer, um, the customer. What's your thoughts on this coach? Uh, all in all, the coach actually was pretty good for, you know, what did we say? It was a 7, 2007 or? 2009 nine. chassis with an 11 conversion, but yeah. then there was an 07 motor or something. Yeah, I'm not we'll sure there was a few the, different we'll numbers from the check the, the VIN on it and VIN spec it, but all in all for... What is that, 13, 14, 15 year old bus? 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah, something yeah, whatever, like that. Yeah, whatever it is, it actually looked pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, slide seal was definitely blown out on it. That needs to be replaced, of course, and then because uh, it drops the aux tank almost immediately. That's going to be the most expensive repair on this coach. Um, other stuff that I know you just, you just went through, about how many points in the inspection normally do you do? Uh, well, it's a seven page inspection report, uh, and we did six of the pages because we didn't take it on a test drive, but we'll let the, the owner or the potential owner take it on drive a test it. drive. Yeah. Yeah. It so sounded, the engine sounded good. We just watched uh, him driving yeah, away. It, was, it, was it wasn't, smooth, it wasn't yeah. smoking. You know, <laughs> no, that, yeah. that was a good thing. It sounded like it was shifting fine. Um, yeah, we didn't drive the coach. We didn't really go through the interior today because uh, Big Tony and I did a, a recent video where we went through the aesthetics of the interior, and then we didn't quite have enough time today just to check all of the all of the systems we went over the chassis the exterior of the coach kind of touched and felt as much stuff as possible so um tires that it's gonna need tires tires uh i think the tags were 17s if i remember correctly everything else was like 13s or 15s so yeah. that's five six years old at this point there's a lot of rubber in these coaches and on these older coaches that's something that you want to keep in mind when buying one of these coaches so if you do want to get your coach inspected the way that this potential buyer just had this coach inspected you can get a hold of kyle at bordercoachleasing.com or my email address is ansautodetail at gmail.com and you can send me an email we could set something up like this for you kyle can't thank you enough for taking the time to let me film this how cool is it? There's not very many technicians out there that will let a guy with a camera stand over his shoulder. That's like one of the most annoying things. So greatly appreciate <laughs> right. that. So, well, hey, thank you all. Hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.